Hello Fireblocks community, I'm Chris Wilson. In this video, we'll go over how to stake any ERC20 token using Fireblocks Custody via Wallet Connect. We'll look at the process using GRT as the ERC20 token for demonstration purposes. But no, this process is the same across all ERC20 tokens. Let's navigate to our Fireblocks console to get started. After signing in, we can click on the vault we wish to delegate from. We will want to make sure to have some ETH to pay for our gas fees, as well as the GRT we wish to delegate. Now we can go to the graph.com slash explorer slash participants slash indexers. Once here, we can connect our Fireblocks wallet by clicking connect. This will pop up a prompt. For staking ERC20 tokens using Fireblocks, we'll look for the wallet connect option. We will be choosing wallet connect in order to connect to our mobile Fireblocks app. Wallet Connect will display a QR code in our browser that we can scan with our Fireblocks app to connect to our wallet. Let's do that now. Once the connection is initiated, we can look on the Fireblocks app to choose the vault to connect to. And boom, it's connected to our wallet. We can now see our address in the upper right corner on the graph.com that we just connected using Wallet Connect. Clicking on this will show our profile, our available balance, along with how much GRT has been delegated if you've staked from this account previously. Now we can go back to console.fireblocks.io. To see our accounts, we can click on the DeFi app in the column on the left. Here, you should see Graph Explorer DeFi Vault under Connected Apps. Now that we have double-checked our accounts are properly connected and funded, we can go back to the graph.com and begin the staking process. Here, we're looking at our profile. We can scroll down to see the indexers we have delegated to. If this is your first time, you'll have nothing here. We can scroll up and click on Participants, which will show us a list of all the indexers we can delegate to. Here is where we will locate the Figment Prime indexer and click it to open its profile. Once in the Figment Prime indexer profile, we can click Delegate. This will open the delegation interface where we can choose the amount of GRT to delegate. Next, we will need to authorize the staking contract in order for it to be allowed to interact with our wallet. To do so, we have two options. We can approve only the amount we wish to delegate, or if we think we will be delegating often from this account, we can infinitely approve, which will approve the wallet to delegate an infinite amount of GRT meaning you will no longer need to approve delegations before delegating any amount of GRT from this wallet. There are pros and cons to each option here. Infinite approvals will save on ETH gas costs when delegating in the future, but you lose security by having an infinite amount of GRT approved for delegating. For us, we like the added security of approving the delegation amount every time. However, you may find that infinite approval works best for your use case. We will choose Approve or Infinite Approve and navigate back to our Fireblocks console. Here we can see our pending authorizations based on the DeFi rules we utilized when setting up our Fireblocks account. For example, this can be set up in any number of ways. You can have it set up to require three authorizations for the four members or require authorizations from a particular person and signing from another. In any case, when you delegate, an authorization request is broadcast to the chosen members in their Fireblocks app for authorizations and sign. Note, this part of the process can take some time. Other times it is instant, and sometimes you will need to cancel and retry if you don't see the authorization request come through on your Fireblocks app. If you need to cancel, you can do so like this and then we can redelegate as we did before. Now that we've redelegated, we can go back to the Fireblocks console and see that it is pending authorization. Let's check our Fireblocks app and approve it. Now we can sign for the transaction in our Fireblocks app and see it as broadcasting the transaction. We can now go back to the graph.com. Here we can see it was successful because now we have the option to delegate since the approval has gone through. We'll click Delegate and navigate back to our Fireblocks app 
to approve and sign the transaction as we did before when approving the delegation amount. Coming back to the graph.com, we can see our delegation went through. Congratulations, you've successfully staked GRT using Fireblocks. You can view your transaction in the Fireblocks console here. If you have any questions, reach out to your dedicated Figment representative or send an email to support at figment.io. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy staking.